Hey everyone, today I'm going to give you my fast five favorite things about the new Juki DX2000 QVP. Dead Souls! Dead Souls! Dead Souls! Dead Souls! Dead Souls! Dead Souls! Dead Souls. This is hell! Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another episode of Dad Sews. I truly appreciate you stopping by my channel. Now today I'm going to give you my fast five, my top five favorite things about this new Juki DX2000 QVP. There are probably 10 or 15 things I could list off, but I'm giving you my top five favorite things. Starting off with this button right here that you press to lower and raise the foot. Now, I can't use the knee bar on my machine because I sew standing up. This button is awesome. You're not flipping the lever. It doesn't go up halfway or no way. You hit this button, that foot goes and up and down it goes. It's perfect. Now, that leads me into my second, probably most favorite thing about the machine. You set the speed with a slider here on the front. Turtle for slow, rabbit for fast. Super easy, right? The key thing is that when you press the pedal, it starts off slow regardless, meaning you're not going to get your fabric caught in your needle. It's not going to grab and it's going to run smoothly for this piece of fabric. Watch. That is awesome. It starts off slow because it knows that that's an important part of sewing. And sometimes we just jam that pedal and it gets everything caught up and we can break a needle this is an awesome feature. And it leads me to number three, and that's the cutting mechanism. Yes, this cuts your thread for you. Now, I love my good old Fisker shears. They're sharp, they're wonderful, and I'm gonna continue to use them. But I always left too much thread on my machine. And you know what happens when you leave too much thread on your machine. When you sew it, it starts weaving back in to your seam. That's bad. It looks bad and it causes the thread to be loose. This leaves the perfect amount of thread every time when you hit the scissor button. All right, number four. Now my old machine was an inexpensive starter machine and there's nothing wrong with that. It even had decorative stitches but they never really looked good. They would leave some threads loose, some threads tight, it would pull. It never ran smoothly when it did the decorative stitches, so I never wanted to put them on anything because I didn't want anybody to see them. This machine does decorative stitches wonderfully. You flip up the door right here, you look for your symbol and then put in the number, and boom, it does a perfect decorative stitch. It even looks like it's doing embroidery from an embroidery machine. It's really perfect. Let's pop our foot down and just hit the pedal and watch how it goes slow to fast and does a perfect job with the design. I just love that, how it goes slow and it starts out so it doesn't mess up or bind your fabric. Like I said, number two is really my favorite about this machine. But look how fast and even it's doing it. And you barely have to touch this just to keep it straight. Man, I'm really in love with this juke. All right, we're gonna cut our thread. And guess what? It's gonna raise my foot for me. It knows that I wanna do that next. And here is a view of the perfect job it did on these spades. I could see doing something really cool for a card table with these. It's got diamond spades, hearts. The options are endless. All right, my final fast five favorite thing about the Juki DX2000 QVP is the automatic bobbin loader. Now, lots of machines say they have an automatic bobbin loader, but it's just not true. First, they're hard to set up, and second, you have to use the foot pedal. What is automatic about that? This one is easy to set up, and as soon as you hit the button, boom, it starts loading your bobbin. And you know what else is automatic about it? It stops when it's perfectly full. My old machine, I had to stop it, and a lot of times the thread was hanging off of that bobbin, and that could cause it not to fit in your machine and cause it later to break. This thing is perfect. I love this. 
it might rival my number one favorite thing about the slow start pedal. I don't know. All right, well, those were my fast five favorite things. I'm gonna give you a couple bonus things that I love about this machine. First of all, I love this table and that it came with the machine and I don't have to spend extra money on it. I love how heavy the machine is. That's actually a plus because I was constantly bumping into the other machine when I was moving fabric around and that would cause the needle to move and once it caused the needle to break. I love that the machine is sturdy. I love the big throat in the machine and I love that this cover came free with the initial purchase. So if you're interested in getting one of these machines, check out the link below from my sponsor, Fabricut. They will give you a Juki DX2000 QVP for 32% off list price. You are not going to find a better deal than that. 32% off. So click the link below. They're giving the best deal to Dad Sews viewers because they love and support Dad Sews. So show them some love, click the link, and tell them that Dad Sews sent you. Thanks so much for watching these five fast tips. Next week we are coming at you with a sewing tutorial using the Juki machine. And at the end of next week, the end of September, beginning of October, I'm going to be at the Fredericksburg Sewing and Quilting Expo. You can come meet me, come meet Dad Sews, and I still have about four or five free tickets to give away. Lots of people have gobbled up the other free tickets I have. So just leave me a message in the comments below. All right, guys, thanks. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Remember, sew, fail, repeat. I will see you next time. This production is brought to you by the Plaid Dad Blog Podcast Network. For more information, visit us at plaiddadblog.com.